Hi there guys how are you doing this is your friend and tutor Manas and in today's session we'll be taking up a problem on level 2 so let's see what this problem has in store here we go it goes like this a hollow right circular cylinder of diameter 9 cm and height h is equal to 12 cm is open at both the ends so this cylinder is some sort of a tube okay which has been kept um on the ground you can say and rests on a smooth horizontal plane exactly a uniform bar of length l is equal to 24 cm and weight 10 newton so there is this bar ab whose weight has been given to us in the form of 10 newtons and at the same time the length of this bar has been given to us as 24 cm okay now this has been placed within the cylinder so this is the cross section of the cylinder and inside which this bar ab has been kept okay making a certain angle theta um with the horizontal okay what we need to do is we need to find the reactions at point a and at t okay let us quickly get started at point a you can clearly see that the arrangement is such um that it will restrict the movement of the bar both in the horizontal as well as in the vertical sense hence you can say that there are going to be two forces or two reactions you can say let's start with this one um this is going to be the ha that is horizontal reaction and over here we'll have a vertical reaction in the form of va okay what else have we got now this bar is resting on point t e. hence we'll have a normal reaction at t e, something of this sort and let's say this is given by simply rt okay so let's start solving and we've got three equations of equilibrium and i'm going to start off by using this moment equation the very popular one let's take moment about this point that is point a equal to 0 the benefit being um pretty simple that both ha and va are passing through point a and their moments will be zero that means they are out of the moment equation therefore you are left with only two forces that is rd unknown and this w force that is 10 newtons it means it is known to us okay so you you're going to have one equation and you're going to have one unknown in the form of rd that's pretty good okay now let's go ahead um let's take the moment of rd force okay the nature of this rd force is such that it tends to produce an anti clockwise moment at a all right hence a positive sign name of the force is rd multiplied by if this is the force then this ad over here is the perpendicular distance that's it so rd essentially has to be multiplied with ad all right what else have we got now we've got this force w which is equal to 10 newtons now this is producing a clockwise moment at point a now instead of writing w i'm going to write 10 over here that's 10 newtons that's the weight of the bar acting centrally along the length now if this is w if i can just make the line of action something of this sort right it intersects this um, horizontal plane somewhere here let's say this is s and let's say that this point is t so if this is the force w then this as over here will automatically qualify as the perpendicular distance so we need to multiply this with as um is there any other force that we need to work with no all of this stuff is going to be equal to zero now we need to find the value of ad we need to find the value of as all right so a bit of trigonometry and a bit of pythagoras theorem is something that we're going to be using right now starting off with triangle a d t now let me write this over here in triangle a d t in triangle a d t if i can take the tan theta it's going to be equal to this over here that is 12 all right over this base that is 9 so if you try to solve this into a calculator you're going to get the value of theta is equal to 53.13 degrees right let me write it over here 53.13 degrees if this is theta that is the angle made by the rod with the horizontal then over here we'll also have this as theta okay we know the value of theta what else now if you watch carefully guys um this ad is something that we need to calculate now ad appears to be a part of this triangle okay atd in which at is equal to 9 and dt is equal to 12 so ad can be computed with the help of pythagorean theorem is equal to under root of 
this square base square that is 9 square plus this perpendicular square that is 12 square if you try to solve this um, 9 square is 81 and 12 square is 144 144 plus 81 is 225 root over 225 is obviously going to be equal to simply 15 and the unit going on right now is 15 centimeter now we know the value of AD so two ticks AD is over what else do we need we need the value of AS also so let's figure out how this can be calculated okay now the length of this bar is how much it's 24 you already have this weight is acting centrally so over here from this point to this point it's going to be equal to half of 24 so l by 2 essentially is equal to simply 12 centimeter that's it now you need to focus on this triangle a s is a part of this triangle triangle a s c so let me just write this in triangle a s c okay what do we need we need this a s and what have we got we have got this hypotenuse so this is base and this is hypotenuse what kind of a trigonometric function are you going to apply? Obviously, cosine. Cos 53.13 is equal to base, that is AS, over hypotenuse, that is AC, whose value is already known, that's um, 12. You just need to solve this equation. AS will work out as 12 cos 53.13, and AS is going to be equal to 7.2 centimeters. Now, two ticks done all the values calculated um, let me rewrite this rd will work out as 10 times of as over ad so we've got the value of as here 15 and we've got the value of ad that's 7.2 you just need to put these two values over here and you'll eventually get the value of rd is equal to 4.8 newtons that's it so the value of reaction at D has been calculated. Now we're going to go ahead and we'll try to find the resultant at A or the reaction, overall reaction at A. How can that be calculated? Okay, here we go. I need to essentially use these two remaining equations of equilibrium. Summation of f of x is equal to zero and summation of f of y is equal to zero. How can that be done? Here we go. Now, this is absolutely horizontal and this is absolutely vertical, okay? So they'll be a part of this fx and fy equal to zero equation. But what about this rd? It's slightly inclined, all right? So what we need to do is, we need to resolve this rd force into its um, respective vertical and horizontal components. How? Let me show you. This is the rd force, making an angle theta with this line over here. And hence, here we'll have its cos component, something of this sort. That's rd cos 53.13, cos theta. Here we'll have its sine component, Rd sine 53.13. That's it. Now let's start. This is I'm headed right hand side, hence positive. This is headed left hand side, hence negative. So what I'm gonna write over here is this H A minus R D sine 53.13. You can rewrite this in a better way. H A is equal to R D times of sine. 53.13 you just need to put this value of rd that is 4.8 over here and you'll eventually get the value of h a is equal to 3.835 newtons that's it now let's go ahead and use this final equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero so what have we got we've got this va upwards and we've got this rd cos 53.13 upwards so let me just write this VA plus RD cos 53.13. Anything else? Um, we also have this W force whose value is 10 newtons. Downwards, hence negative is equal to zero. Okay, so you can essentially write, rewrite rather, VA is equal to 10 minus RD cos 53.13. So RD's value is 4.8. You need to put that value over here and you'll eventually get VA is equal to 7.12 Newtons. Okay, so the value of HA is equal to how much? This is 3.835 Newtons. And the value of VA computed is 7.12 Newtons. Now the resultant of these two forces, that is horizontal and vertical forces, will be something of this sort. And let's say that the name of resultant is RA. So RA 
essentially can be calculated as under root of ha square plus va square you just need to put the values of ha and va in this equation and you will eventually get ra is equal to 8.09 newtons that's it now if you want to find the angle that this resultant makes with this horizontal okay let's say that the angle made is alpha you can go ahead and use this tan alpha is equal to va over ha okay go ahead and find the value of alpha all right so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to knowledge of mechanics then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit I'll be back again with some more videos on mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.